<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's me again. So today we're going to be talking about some geography lessons about Texas. By a show of hands, everybody in this room, have any of you been to Texas? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. The latter of whom is Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> so to anyone who's watching at home, we're going to be talking about Texas, and we're going to be talking about some interesting facts about its location, its brief history, what it's known for, and basically what makes somebody a Texan. So let's talk about that. So first of all, where is Texas? So if we move on to the next slide, ladies and gentlemen. So Texas, to those of you who don't know, is in the American South. So, how many of you know where Texas is? It's class. You, Katie, you know where it is? Yeah. Okay. So, let's take a look on this map. So, Texas is right here in the American yeah. South. It borders New Mexico, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mexico to the south. So, to those of you who can see it on this map right here, Texas is one of the biggest states in the United States. You know who else is the biggest state? We talked about some of them. Can you guys tell me? Yes, Ken. California. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. Is California a big state? Yeah. What about Alaska? Yep. Some of the biggest states. Yeah. No, no reason is he has a big state. Yeah, that's a pretty big state, I've, I've sort of. I've gone there. I've gone there. Oh, yeah? Have you ever been to Texas, though? No? Would you like to go? <laughs> Ask Carmen. She'll know. <laughs> She's been to more places than I have. I've only been there because my friend graduated from the Air Force. Oh, really? And their um, graduation was in Texas. <laughs> okay. Pretty fun. Yep. So if we look at Texas, even though this is not exactly a physical map, ge geographically speaking, it is basically just mostly deserts, plains, um, flatlands, and basins. You know what basins are? So those of you who don't know what basins are, they're just basically a whole system of waters that form rivers and lakes. So a little fun geology lesson for you guys. I know it's not geography, but a geology kind of plays a huge role in, in geography and all that stuff. So let's move on to the next slide. So let's talk about a brief history of Texas. See this map? You barely recognize it, right? This was Texas long ago. So Texas was this landmass right over here, and at one point was a Spanish colony because, you know, the Spanish Empire. And a few... I would say about a century later, that's when Mexico came along and this became a Mexican state. Sort of a territory, but not necessarily one big community, I guess you could say, a huge colony. And so it wasn't until the Mexican-Texan War, that's when the borders began to change. And they ended up drawing the lines right here and a little bit along the coast. And this would be where Louisiana is. And they cut off right about Oklahoma, especially the bar right up here. And I know it's pretty hard to see, but Texas's capital used to be somewhere further south, right over here. Okay. Yeah, it's Austin now, but back then they had a dispute as to which would be the capital. Would it be Austin? Would it be Houston? Would it be Dallas? They had a huge okay. argument over there. Cowboys are in Texas? Yep. Cowboys are in Texas, but of course they didn't call them cowboys. <laughs> yep. And it wasn't until the year 1848, that's when they joined the Union, and now they are one of the biggest states in the United States. So where does the name Texas come from? Nobody knows, but it's generally believed to come from a Native American word, which means friendship. So... We can debate about it all day, and we still get nowhere. So let's talk about what Texas is known for. You guys hungry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Texas barbecue. Yummy. Yeah. When Texas. <laughs> nah, none of you are hungry? Not me. Let me tell you this much. When you go to Texas, you'll have big portions like these. 
really huge portions. You know what they say? Everything's bigger in Texas. This is one of them. Yummy. So let's talk about a historical site. Let's move on. Tell me if you recognize this place. Alamo. Yep, that's right. And it's the Alamo. One of the most famous battles took place there. Yep. And the battle, what battle took place there? The Battle of the Alamo. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's correct. And people would always tell you that there was a famous battle cry after the Battle of the Alamo. They would say, "Remember the Alamo." Remember the Alamo. Yep. Yep. And I know this is just one picture, you guys, but contrary to what most people say, there are actually two Alamos. I don't know if you guys know that. This is the actual Alamo. But another Alamo was made for a movie called Alamo. Right. Yeah. And it's just a few miles away from where this one is, actually. Mm -hmm. But this one is a much bigger scale because the other Alamo is more of a movie set more than anything. So uh, let's talk about a little. What else is there known for? <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, anybody? <laughs> anybody here a fan of the Dallas Cowboys? Oh, no. Somebody oh, is. Raise your, your hand, everybody, if you're a fan. Raise your hand. Yep. Yeah. So I've counted three yeah. people in the back. Yeah. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Right. Some team yeah. spirit in here. Yeah. So. <laughs> that was a few episodes ago. <laughs> yep. So the Texas. So the some of the biggest Texas teams. Include the Dallas Cowboys. This is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest team, even though this is just a football team. <laughs> you know what else they're known for? What? What? Houston Rockets. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> they are the biggest basketball team in Texas, or at least one of the most famous. <laughs> yep. And the funny thing about the Rockets, there are many theories as to where the name Rockets comes from, and people think it has everything to do with NASA because they launch rockets into space. You know what they say, Houston, we had a problem. We don't know. We don't know where we got the name from. Yeah, let's move on. Anybody like country music? Yeah, Texas is big on its country music. Yeah, some of the biggest country stars come from Texas. So, yeah, to those of you who go to Texas, you're probably going to hear this on the radio. You're going to hear this everywhere in restaurants, bars, who knows. Yeah, so. The Grand Ole Opry, that's a famous place. You good. Yeah. By the way, the Grand oh, Ole yeah, that's oh, oh, one of the biggest so country great. venues out there. So let's move on. So let's talk about what makes a Texan. So as you can probably tell, this map over here is pretty much uh, showing you what is bordering the state right over here. So to those of you who don't know, Texas is located just north of Mexico. So in other words, you'll find some people with Mexican ancestry. So if we're talking about the majority of the population over there. You'll find that most of them are white Americans with German, Irish, or English ancestry, or all of the above. Yeah. Do you guys know anybody in Texas? Yeah, I can. My yep. All right. So you got some relatives over there. So, mm -hmm. so to those of you who don't know, Austin is the capital of, Tex of Texas. Yeah. And the funny thing is, you'll notice a pattern with Texas. Notice all these names right here, right. like Amarillo, San Angelo, San Antonio, Spanish oh, names. Yeah, right. That's how you know that it used to be a Mexican oh, colony. Oh, so you'll find that, yeah, most of them are just basically your your standard run of the fair tex right Texans. Meanwhile, the rest of them are pretty much everyone else. <laughs> so let's conclude today's class. So since its beginnings, we became something of the Lone Star State. <laughs> I didn't go over this in the beginning because I wanted to give you a brief history and I wanted to be brief as much as possible. But at one point, Texas was its own country. 
with its own currency, its own flag, its own mottos, everything. Pretty much everything you'd find as a country. So Texas went from its beginnings as a colony of the Spanish Empire to a state of Mexico and to its own country. As you can see, the Lone Star State. It stood alone in a world where it, it was pretty much isolated. So now that we know it as a state, where everything is bigger, including its barbecue. Yum. Yay. Yep. Dude, so don't now. Don't make me hungry. Don't make me hungry. Eh? <laughs> don't make us hungry, Jeremy. Yeah. And now Texas is known for its international commerce, its local traditions, its international trade. It's known for a lot of, a lot of state spirit over there. It's known for its cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that leads me to one question, you guys. Who would want to go to Texas when all of this is over? I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Carmen, take us on a tour. So with that in mind, thank you guys for joining me. And I've been your host, Jeremy. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> So we are going to head off and have baking time with Carrie. All righty. All righty. So we're going to get. Say hi, Felipe. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. All righty. We're going to go ahead with Miss Carrie. We're on our way. joining me. I'm going to wash my hands real quick before I start touching anything. All right. We'll get our gloves on. We still have to practice all that safety stuff. I've got my shield on. I've got my eyeglasses on. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, Vanessa, you were so nice to help me make sure the oven was on. So thank you for that. I was a little, little worried. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And then when the uh, pan gets hot, I'll have to put my mittens on because I just can't trust that I know what I'm doing. Okay. So, you guys, I don't know if you noticed, we're doing our Toll House cookies. You're welcome. Pre-made. You're welcome, just like Grandma did. Um, we're going to do our tried and true. It's a little different today. Um, a pan, traditional cooking pan versus my fabulous pampered chef pan. It does look dirty, it's yeah. not, we call it cured. Um, you don't use soap and water. Oh. You actually just wash it off, give it a nice rinse, extra hot water as it cooks. Um, it uh, has its own flavor. So there's that, there's that, and I'll just cook a handful. 
How many friends do we have in our ADP program hmm. today? I want to say we have about 12 or so. Do we really? Or okay. 10. I know. Let's take a look. Let's make sure I know. And then, you guys, I'm just going to let you know, this pan is our regular our regular pan, and I, I really need you to understand that we're, they're going to cook differently. Believe it or not, trust me, there's going to be a different texture to this and even a possible, um, what's it called when uh, you're baking, there's a rise in uh, in baking. Again, this is not my forte. I'm doing my best, so bear with me. But if you notice, they're already pre-cut, pre-measured. Turn, turn, this is great. I'm missing an entire row. You know what, I'll just open up another batch right. here. Well, I think I should. So we do have 12 friends in there. So the staff, it makes it like up to maybe 20. Wow. So we want to make sure we include the hardworking staff. Lord. Don't you guys want to come back and try this? Okay. So look at that. Just individual cubes. You can't go wrong with that. They're at the store. It's under a couple of dollars. I want to say maybe five for a package of two. I bought three to make sure I had enough friends. I'm going to put um, a mitten on. I'm worried that it might be hot. So I'm gonna place my stone in for a few minutes. We're gonna go from there. I'll put one in on one side. You notice the exact same amount, the exact same product, one on the other side, and that'll just take up a few minutes. Oh, okay. And then we'll set this aside and we'll talk a little bit about um, the product that I'm using. So I'm gonna to touch my phone. Remember, we use our gloves inside out. Throw them off to the sides. So I don't have a can here with me. All right. So our um, our computer printers were down today. So apologies in advance that we're using my phone. So right off the bat, I have all my cheat sheets on here. Pampered Chef products. They have been around for quite a few years. I'm so sorry. It's been a while. I wish I had the data in front of me. I thought I had it printed out. Um, lots of different pros and cons. A traditional pan, you have to grease it. You want to make sure it's non-sticking. Um, it's a little bit harder to shuffle your baked goods off a traditional pan. A stone fire, it's a non-worry. It's a little bit heavier. It can break if you drop it on the counter. Uh, if it slips, you don't put it in the dishwasher. But it's a non-worry, and it, it it scrapes right off. Super easy, really, really convenient. I love that about the product. Tried, true, it works. Um, the number one question I get from this, let me see that I saw. Um, yeah, the number one uh, downfall with the stone is it's heavy. Um, it's hard on your wrist. You really do have to use two hands. Be extra careful so if you're a little frail and not comfortable in the kitchen you may not want to use this product or ask for assistance it does um, look very heavy it is yeah. it is and so you know that is the downfall and it does absolutely heat up um extremely extremely warm um yeah uh, trying to think what else self-coating i already mentioned that non-stick professional use you can use it for pizza. It bakes the crust. The entire um, the entire pan is the same heat from corner to corner. So that stone from corner to corner is the same temperature through and through. And the the stainless steel pan, the traditional cooking pan, may have different temperatures due to I'm not really sure, but um, where the um, we don't have a light on the other one. Okay, um, due to where uh, the location of the pan is um, is set. So let's see if I have any other questions on here. Yes. Oh, yay! There it goes. Oh, my. <coughs> don't mind. I just I should have started this so surely. Okay. Um, there is no. Um, uh, there's other facts that they mentioned. Um, is there something on the stone, being that you don't soap in water, 
you don't use soap and water, is it dirty? People ask, you know, does it leave residue from the previous cooking or baking product? I feel no, because you are using, and I'm, I'm seeing the statistics here, and there's facts that I, I can't seem to open on my phone. The hot water, the hot pan, it cooks off the germs, it cools down, you're rinsing it off, you're setting it aside, you're ready for the next use. I, I, I feel confident and comfortable enough to use it time and time again, even during this COVID time frame. I can't, I'm not eating off it. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm genuinely just uh, baking with it. So right off the bat, we see uh, the pan all of a sudden uh, getting uh, flatter and uh, the stone staying exactly as it is. So um, I, I really believe that the stone keeps the items that you're baking risen. Um, it stays in a natural uh, uh, baking professional state. So when your fresh cookies are, are being baked, um, you see them thick and, and, um, and uh, just like grandma made them. Where my particular, I will, I see the staff members already making requests. So I'll do my best that I don't burn them. And uh, so tried and true, we'll see what occurs. But um, I'm not smelling anything yet. I don't know if we are. But uh, so we'll see. Um, I do have, with the Pampered Chef product, um, there's lots of different products when it comes to the stone. They make them in a, um, a bread where you can do uh, corn cornbread or meatloaf or um, they do uh, muffins where, um, again, it just makes... It, it just looks professional. It just is absolutely stress-free. I don't feel like I need to uh, grease the pan. It doesn't have any added, um, uh, anything I don't want to eat, consume it. Just whatever I'm buying is the product that's going into the stone um, and I'm baking it. Um, as far as the product there, um, you don't have much of an, uh, um, a choice. You either have to use parchment paper for the access of, of, of getting the uh, baked item off or um, or a spray of some sort or a butter which some people may not want to use that because it's too much sugar or cholesterol or just additional things that they don't want to add to the diet um, uh, oh space saving pro and con the stone fire uh, the stone fire the stone uh, bakeware I would say a negative on that side, again, because it is heavy and you can't inner stack them. They can just, if it's a pan or a bowl or, or a cookie sheet, they just, they stay on top of each other. They don't inner place where a cookie sheet, you can just set them in each other. It doesn't have that option. So you just start building them up. Now, mind you, it also will get heavier on the shelf that you have. So you want to disperse them in your shelving. I have about five pieces, and uh, I have a family friend that tells me to place them on the bottom shelf <laughs> instead of elsewhere. So that makes sense. I'm starting to smell them. I don't know if you start to see a little bit of a difference, but um, I do see that the traditional pan is, is facing out where the stone is holding its position where, um, again, that's where the natural state of our mother's cooking comes into play. So, again, non-stress that I feel that if I overcook it for maybe a minute or two, it's not going to burn on the bottom. Where this one, I worry, I have to really watch the clock and watch it and go, please, please don't burn the bottom, even though I'm, gonna cook, I'm still going to consume them anyways. Okay, the other thing I should look for is a pan of some sort to place them on when they're done. Okay. Wow, you guys, we have a lot of um, pans. I don't know what I'll do. I didn't know we had pans. We're so fortunate. Yeah. Look at that. And here's some. Uh, Reynolds wrap, and this is always a great baking product because you place that over here, it helps 
Less dishes. Love that. And not a dish washer. Okay, so that. Maybe one will get it. Um, not so delicious. I can smell can it. Can you already? Yeah. Can you? Okay, I'm trying to see if I can find any more other items. There's a couple of other asked questions. Is it worth the money? So that tells me that the Pampered Chef products are, let's face it, a little bit more pricier. Again, you, the word chef is involved, which would be more of a professional product. So, hi, Stephanie. I'm making cookies. We have staff members. It, we have, it from a roll. We have staff trying? members coming in and smelling them. Um, anyway, so. Um, well, she's not even cutting them. She says, oh, I know. Yeah. So, is Pamper Chef worth the money? I believe so, because it's uh, worry free and um, a lifetime warranty. If it does break, like I mentioned, if you accidentally carry it from the oven and it's warm and it, and it cracks, you can actually return the two cracked items, call your representative, go online to a hotline and contact them, email them. They'll have you ship it right back and they'll ship you a fresh one, the exact same product that you had. Oh, cool. So that's wonderful. Um, I can't recall off the top of my head uh, what the price was. Um, the pan itself, if the pan burns or after a while, you do have to replace them. So I feel that that is um, maybe not the best use of your money. So do I feel that the pan for chef product is worth it? I do. All right, staff members. I have another staff member coming in. Have you ever used a Pampered Chef product? I sure have. Have you? Which one have you used? I have their brownie muffin pans. Do you really? I have their pizza cutter. Oh. I have their spatulas. Oh. Okay, so Ooh. the pizza cutter, I also have that too. It has a safety sleeve. Yep. It's always a good thing. But yeah, be careful. And um, have you ever had to use a lifetime warranty where it's broken and you just return it and leave it right back? No. Gosh, lucky you. Okay. And then, um, what are you let's making see. us today? Uh, they made Toll House chocolate chip cookies. I know you want to eat the dough. I used to eat the dough too. Don't do that. All right. Um, so basically, the way I feel about it is, expense wise, I think it's worth it. A little, little pricey from the start, but after having to purchase pans through the years and, and um, ruining the traditional pan. I think the pampered chef through curd. Uh, what's that word that I'm looking for? Because you don't use soap and water on those. Um, it cures. It, it, what? The, the, the pampered chef uh, baking pan. Like, um, I just feel that it tastes better. It works fine. You don't, uh, you don't uh, contaminate it with soap and water. So I'm going to take a peek real quick. Okay, see what's happening? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm already burning it. <laughs> no, seriously. This is what is going on. Look. You're being toasty. Oh. This is tried and true. Take them out. Well, no, no I, but the stone is not. Well, now, let do you me have a show timer? You. What? Do you have a timer? Well, it, no. I have my timer in my head because I watch it. But look at this. <laughs> on the bottom. Look at that. It'll still be good. Getting well, of crunchy. course it's going to be good. We're going to eat them. But yes. you have to take them off the cookie sheet. Because you know things keep cooking up even after you take it out of the oven. They do. Thank you, Linda. Get in here and talk to me and help me with this. Well, I'm trying to make my lunch, you know, because I have to go to lunch. At but see that, time. you guys, every single one of them is, is burnt. At least... Well, you know, some people enjoy it that way. My sister loves them this way. And so it's it's fine. It's cooked lovely enough. But let's take they out the stone. They are still going to be very tasty. So let's take out the stone of the baked cookies. Yes, because they will keep Linda, on Can you cooking. help me with the aluminum foil? I think it's one or two of the drawers over. And I don't think they're, they're all cooked yet. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, they're okay. They look golden brown. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. look very delicious. See taste, right? Okay, but I might have to keep them in the one. But look, I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna keep them in a minute. No. What do you think? They're golden brown. No, I'm gonna keep them in. Don't you dare burn your fingers. Look at that. It's different. 
it's different because it's golden brown. I know. Is that and it's the exact same time frame, guys? Golden brown. So I'm telling you, I'm gonna put it in for a few more minutes. I guess Linda's gonna minute. eat that one. It is okay, but look, look, tried and true. Let's look, you look, look it over. Oh there it goes. Here <laughs> we go. Where's my dogs? Boom. Look at that. The difference. Look at that. The stone. <laughs> that is so gross. Sorry guys. But no, is that the, the most different? I'm telling you, this is that a is freshly baked cookie. We're not gonna eat this. Freshly baked what? cookies to a burnt one. On the exact right. same time, the ex different pans, my cookie, right? tried and true, no brainer. Linda's still gonna eat it, God bless her. Thank well, you guys you so it? much for your time. And Linda, thank you for popping in. Yeah, there we I go. I have the crunchy one. Yeah, You're gonna have the crunchy ones? ones? Okay, but isn't that bizarre? I'm telling you, it yeah. is the exact same time frame, the exact same amount, the exact same product. Uh, I mean, baking product, cookies, right guys? Mm -hmm. The same size, equal portions, yeah. and um, I can't ever get them not burnt. I can't cook people. Well, you know, usually the first I burnt burn them burn. once again. Thank you for joining me, you guys. Carmen, you got to come see these. They're good. <laughs> Did I need to call the fire department? Case manager. Did I have the fire department on? Come on in, you guys. Well you know. They're good. Oh, my goodness. Well, don't eat the drops. Well, they smell really good. They're the exact They're same time frame, same everything. The stone holds its shape and needs a longer time to cook. And if you look at this, but not that much. You could probably take the stone out. Oh, take the stone out. Every time. I see eat that the one. crunchy one. Can I see that one? Yeah. yeah. They're good, Carmen. You I need to wash them out. Take them out now? I think so. All right. The bakery says we take them out now. You know, see, it's still soft. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Soft cookies are great, Terry. Oh, they're they're going to continue to cook. Yeah. Yeah. Let them rest. Yes. yes, they're going to continue to cook on their board. Well, yeah. thank God the girls are here because they told her that like five crunchy always I know. works. Linda's right. Okay, so we're going to let these bake for a bit, but like Linda showed you, the exact same time frame, different. I mean, look at. That. I'm telling you, I don't get it. I don't get it. Try to. Oh. <laughs> your lunches. But thank you guys for joining me. Um, I feel trying both products, the Pampered Chef product, Linda buys them, I buy them. Worth the money, worth the product. The girls are saying yum in the background. Yes. Yum, I yum, even yum, dropped yum, one. Yum. We were looking for a dog. Albert wasn't anywhere to be found. <laughs> but let me see. After a few minutes of, of taking these out, yeah, it's placing See? a little better. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one I mushed with my thumb. It's pretty sad. But um, if you also notice, the um, non-stick pan worked fine, and then the stone itself worked fine. Oh, no, 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 we're going to cook more. I got, I got, I got staff and clients to... Oh, or just let me eat the cookie dough. And we're off. Just let me eat the cookie dough. That's really okay. fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to put my cooking gloves back on and uh, stack some more up and ruin people's lunches. <laughs> I don't see why not. Anyways, did you guys learn about Texas today? Should we make a really big cookie? That's so big. <laughs> I don't see why not. I got I got clients walking back and forth telling me, what's that smell? What's happening? <laughs> I want to know what's going on over here. Oh, is it sticking? Look how pretty those came out. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see. All right. Good job, Carrie. Oh, yeah. So I want this off so I can bake them on that one. You want them on something else? Okay. Uh -huh. How about? Wait, is this hot again? Well, it's not. Let's just flip them up. Well, you're going to have to use that one. So no, I don't want here. to. I don't want to. I think this can't yeah, not good. I'm just, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Who isn't going to be happy to have a snack? And look how they just pop right off. They're beautiful. And the, I mean, honest to goodness, it's just professional. Look at the back of it. I know. Perfect. It's perfect. Every, I can't 
I can't say it enough. It makes me feel like I'm the best chef in town or, or bakery. And then you know what I do for added fun? I place ice cream between two. Wow. Yep. yep. Nice. Mark has to ride his bike a little bit longer. <laughs> and, uh, he's a small friend. Okay. So. Mind your hands, Carrie. Do you want to show them? Look how perfect these can be. Fantastic. And then again, you guys, we started with this. Just No, we're good. We're good. We're just having fun. We started with a cube. Very Each nice. one. Each cube. They're the exact same size. Another glove. Need a glove? Well, you can put them on. Um, each, I mean, each one, the exact same size, the exact cube. Two more. So you're gonna need. Well, I, I think I got it. Got it. I don't know. Here, get two on because I'm making a mess. I better throw this cookie away before it tempts me to eat it. <laughs> I would. Oh my god, we still have another batch. How fun. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that Carmen we can share about. I mean, you just. That I'm the cookie monster and. This oh, is the best that's thing right. That okay, careful. Well, it's not. It's be hot. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, but it tastes so good. Yeah, because it's already melting. They're already melting. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. She's got more of them. Okay, they're going in. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe a red. Kind of we'll get to them out there. Throw more. Throw more in there. Get ready. 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 Get Are you making another? I am. You guys say hello and good morning to the case manager, Miss Jillian. For the <laughs> She's just here for the baking. They're hiding. Oh my gosh. My whole office you know smells like Mrs. Fields cookies. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. They were a really great sale. It must have been because of the holiday. A lot of family around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just can't get over the same amount, same size, same product, and they cook stuff, they cook differently. Yes. It's, it is so funny to me every time. Every That's time. That's pretty cool, though. Fantastic. All right, you guys. Texas and cookies. Can't go wrong with can't today's wrong class. With that. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Emma. You work. Gosh, it smells so wonderful in here right now. It smells great. Don't forget, Elwin is hiring. Don't oh, yeah. forget, um, go to elwin.org. Check on careers. Go to Elwin Fountain Valley and look up the careers in there. And we'd like to have you join our team. And also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All righty. Thank you. Enjoy your Tuesday. Stay Continue tomorrow. to stay safe. Yes, stay safe. Good job, Carrie. It smells so good in here.